Our other big story tonight is the possible end to the United Auto Workers strike against the big three car makers. Two sources telling ABC that General Motors has joined Ford and Chrysler owned Stellantis in reaching a tentative deal with the union. That means in just a few days, these picket lines could be history. Rena Roy has the latest. After being out on the picket lines for weeks against the big three car makers, sources tell ABC News the United Auto Workers Union has now reached a tentative deal with General Motors. It comes after Ford and Stellantis, the maker of Chrysler vehicles, also struck agreements with the union last week. ABC News has confirmed all three tentative deals include a 25 percent raise for workers over four years, plus cost of living adjustments. The Ford and Stellantis agreements also call for more paid time off, significant improvements on pensions, and guarantees to keep certain factories open. Preliminarily, it's exciting. It looks good. It truly is major gains based on the little that we've got in the last four contracts. GM was the last remaining holdout, and the union increased the pressure by expanding its strike at GM's largest manufacturing facility in North America. Within 48 hours, a tentative deal with the UAW was reached. We Last month, for the first time in history, the UAW went on strike against all three auto manufacturers at the same time. Thousands of UAW workers walking off the job around the country demanding better pay and benefits. The tentative deals give less than what UAW members wanted. They had been calling for a 40 percent wage increase over the next four years, a figure they say matches with the CEOs for the companies earned. But still, they consider it a win. We fought like hell. And we won like never before. When we say this is a record contract, we mean it. The strike did have a ripple effect. The big three automakers laid off workers at several plants. Now, it is important to note that these are just tentative deals and all UAW members still need to vote and ratify the contracts before they become official. That process could take a few weeks. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And the UAW began targeted strikes against all three automakers on September 15th after its contracts with the companies expired. At the peak, about 46,000 UAW workers were on strike, about one-third of the union's 146,000 members at all three companies.